So for this question, we know that C is the hypotenuse, and then we've got A and we've got B. And likewise, angle B is here opposite little b. Angle A is here, and then angle C is here. So now we know that A is 20, and we know that sine of B is 1 half. So what is sine of B? Sine of B is opposite over hypotenuse. So since sine of B is also opposite over hypotenuse, which is B over C, we also know that this equals one half. So I basically know that B over C equals one over two, which means that there's a relationship between B and C. B, if it's X, if it's one X, C would be two X. So now we can use this via Pythagorean's theorem to solve for B and C. So now using Pythagorean's theorem, I can say A, which is 20 squared plus B, which I'll call X is X squared equals C squared, which is two X squared. And then 2x squared is 4x squared, right? I'm squaring both equal to x squared plus 20 squared, which is 400. Now I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides. I get 400 equals 3x squared. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And x squared equals 400 over 3. Last but not least, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And x equals square root of 400 is 20. And the square root of 3 is 3. Uh, just to rationalize this, by the way, we could say plus or minus, but you know, this is length, so we don't have to worry about a negative. So then I'm going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying by rad 3 and rad over rad 3. So then I get x equals 20 rad 3 over 3. And again, x is b. So that really means b equals 20 rad 3 over 3. And now when we get to c, c is just double this, right? So c is 2 times that, which is 40 rad 3 over 3. So there are your two answers. Boom.